Hey, what's up? It's Ed O'Keefe. Hope you're having an awesome day. Welcome to this quick little episode. I just got done walking up and down a flight of stairs for uh, outdoor stairs called Swallow Cliff out here in Chicago, right in the suburbs. Uh, I'm preparing for a an event in Colorado in about one month. When you get invited to do things like that, you're going to be doing hard things. If you want to look it up, it's called the incline. It's like it's only like 0.88 miles, but the fastest guy in the world, I think, did it in like 17 minutes. It's pretty freaking crazy with the altitude, the steepness, and there's just something about stairs. I mean, there's no brakes, so you can't go like, you know, when you, like the swallow cliff I just did, you know, I go up like, say, I don't know, it takes me about 45 seconds a minute to go up, but then I got a nice 35 seconds to go down so I can rest <laughs> on the way down, and that gets slower and slower, obviously, as... uh the longer I'm in the, in the workout. Today, the goal was to do 20 laps in 45 minutes. In the past, I've done like 20 uh, laps in about just under an hour. So I was pretty happy with it. I um, got about 46 minutes, seven seconds. And uh, I, th- I would have gotten the 50, 45 minutes if I didn't stop and try to be a social media guy and create a video. Anyhow, excuses aside. What I want to talk about briefly, though, is on the hill, it's always exciting to go do things. Um, I haven't been on the hill for about a, a year. I saw some really cool people, and I want to tell you really quickly about it, because there's a couple guys, there's something about climbing, there's something about running, there's something about these endurance freaks. It seems like there's an age where people, uh, like I'm 42 now, but there's a, it seems like a great thing for people, like in their late 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and beyond, to, to, to do, because, you know, there was a couple guys up there with, it had to be 25, 45 pound backpacks just going up and down like warriors, and they were all definitely 15 years older than me. I was so impressed by it. But one thing that struck me, it was there was a a younger guy there, about uh, maybe a little bit younger than me, who was, he was definitely training for something. Had to be like, maybe training for Spartan or Mudder or just some, maybe could be, uh, you know, he's a lot of things he was doing are great for like what, training for like Kokoro Camp, which I did, uh, the Hell Week experience that Mark Devine puts on out in California, where he'd be carrying a small log, and then the next time up and down, he's carrying uh, jugs of water. (laughs) But before I left, he was carrying this gigantic log. I have a video of it. I'll post it up on Instagram. You can check it out on my my Instagram feed. Um, And the log was like, had to be about six feet six feet uh, in length. Definitely was heavy. It, it probably around 40 to 80 pounds, but it's an awkward, it can't be 80, more like 40 to 60 pounds, but an awkward weight, you know? Like that's heavy when it's when it's awkward when it's on your one arm holding it it's across your shoulders and you're trying to keep it balanced and he had headphones on and stuff like that because I, I yelled to him like nice you know yeah words of encouragement as he was um, trying to get up there because he was definitely grinding but after I left as I started leaving I was like man whatever he's training for this is this is the lesson this is the big topic of today and I'm gonna it's gonna be a quick one but whatever he's training for is scaring him more than whatever I'm training for is scaring me. Think about that for a moment. Think about that for a moment. Whatever he's training for is scaring him more than whatever I'm training for is scaring me. And um, I got to think about that because it relates to every area of my life. When you're trying to achieve something or trying to get a goal that scares you you do things that you would not be doing on a normal basis. So the structural way the war, a lot of goals work, obviously, is you, you set them and you notice that there's a distance between where you are today and where that goal is. Okay, so That's why the power of having uh, an intention and having a direction and having somewhere to go is actually the secret to growth and happiness because without it, and it's a positive stress and tension. You need it. If you don't have it, what is waking you up in the morning? What is getting you excited? What is sending off those biological chemicals that tell you to work harder and or to research or to do whatever it takes to you know achieve that, close that gap? And so whatever he's training for is definitely scaring him more than whatever scare me. There's a bigger gap in that. And I and I was I'm gonna walk away from that because the excuses that I've probably held on to in the past are like, well, he's younger than me. Well, Ed, you can't say that. There were guys on the hill that were 15 years older than you that are just, they got heavier backpacks on. And I overheard their training for something. And the reason why we train for things, the reason why no matter what age you're at, 
no matter what, what sex you are, no matter what size you are, because there's people on the hill today that definitely were heavier, and there's definitely some skinny people there, right? All sexes, all races, all sizes, all ages, is that they're on the hill, and we'll just use the hill as an example, even though I, I usually am in the gym, some kind of cross some kind of, uh, is, is my usual go-to. Uh, when I when I sign up for endurance things like uh, Hell on the Hill or 29029 or uh, get invited to go do something a little crazy like we're going to do in Colorado, and I could do a whole different episode on how I train for Kokoro Camp, you have to switch up what you're doing. It's just it's really positive. It forces you to have different skill sets. And, you know, I was talking to another buddy of mine. I'll tell you a quick little story. Uh, my endurance friends and my guys who train a lot, or this, you might roll your eyes a little bit on the basics of this, but it's pretty good advice. I was talking to a good friend of mine who was telling me how he only really runs three miles, but he does it with a, a weighted vest. And one thing that if you ever want to build your endurance rapidly, you know, rucking with a uh, 20-pound back sack or 30-pound backpack or weighted vest, some of the, you know, guys like Ben Greenfield can explain this better than I could, but there's something powerful that happens. Your body adjusts so rapidly to the extra stress you're putting on it. And it gets stronger very, very quickly, and you build endurance very, very rapidly. Uh, so I'll be doing some of that in the next three weeks prepping. I'll, I'll probably do a pretty hard three weeks here, even though it's over 4th of July weekend and stuff like that, and then rest uh, my legs for about a good four to six days prior to Colorado. And then definitely I'll do some uh, elevation mask uh, wearing stuff. There's actually an elevation place here in Chicago, so maybe I'll go visit it once or twice and see if that helps just uh, get my body more used to. Uh, there's nothing worse than freaking being in elevation. Your body doesn't know what to do about it. So that's it. So what are your goals, and how can you scare yourself by making them bigger, making them more exciting, and then it forces you to create some positive tension that forces you to grow faster. So that's it. This is Ed O'Keefe. Hope you enjoyed this podcast, and we will talk to you soon. Mm-hmm.